Hello everybody, and a not very nice video at all for you today, but I thought I'd better just do one anyway, because you'll see the difference on the other videos. Um, but sadly, yesterday, well, the past week really, Lottie had been really poorly, her eyes were practically closed, she didn't want to eat anything, it was struggled to even get about five mils down her. Um, and it was just so hard to see her like that and because no vets are open at the weekend that's when we really noticed it and sadly I was out in the morning and but if I wasn't and if I knew about it then I would have possibly been able to get her to the vets but I obviously couldn't and I had to wait till yesterday and the vet took her in and trimmed down her left side a bit more but she just looked so lifeless I couldn't bring her home like that so Sadly, I had to, <laughs> well, I started crying my eyes out and cuddling her as best I could and the vet just came in and asked if I wanted it done and I just had to put her down because she was in so much pain and her poor little sister I was thinking about mostly but I had to do it and I suppose it's not the nicest thing for her sister to put up with but I just had to. Um, and if she stops eating all of this plastic for a minute, I'll be able to talk to you about it. Um, come here, stop it, it's not good for you. <laughs> um, but it wasn't the, the thing I wanted to do, but I knew I'd probably have to do it when I took her down there. And it was the nicest and bravest thing I could have done. And I made a little, a little plaque for her. Um, and we buried her under the slabs in the front garden under the window and I'll add a photo of the plaque for you so you can see it um, but she was such a loving girl no matter what went on these past few months with her teeth surgery she never ever <laughs> she never bit or refused anything she just let it happen and she was such a caregiving little guinea pig and I will definitely miss her and so will everyone else I'm trying not to cry in this video because it's so d difficult, but I have to do it. Um, it's a horrible, a horrible thing to happen and see her be like that. But I wasn't going to bring her home and see her in pain for about another week. The vet did say that this would probably be her last vet visit and she probably wouldn't make it another week. And I would really wanted her to, to come home with me, but I, I just got her out in the vets and I give her a big cuddle and I couldn't do it but I had to hold I held her while the vet came in did it put her to sleep um, and she he, he, he injected her while she was cuddling me and I held on to her so tight and just kept speaking to her and letting her know that we love her and I'm sorry I couldn't do any more um, and then what I've done but um, she fell asleep nicely, but the bit that really broke my heart was when he actually took her away and I could see her face and I just, oh my god, I just cry my eyes out really because it's so sweet, but so horrible at the same time. It was not a very nice experience and I don't really want to go for it again, but I've got to keep going because I've got her sister and Lily down here and I just needed to do something a bit different for them. So as you've noticed, probably, we've had a little change around of the cage. Um, Lily's been moved into the bottom part and Laurie's been put into the top part. I read that it's good to change everything about the guinea pig's routine um, and changing their housing over is a different thing for them. So, so they'll be concentrating on the new routine and new area rather than dwelling on what's happened and where her friend is. Um, so sadly that's the way that we have to do it, so it seems to be working so far because she hasn't really done anything to show any depression or anything. She's um, eating everything, she's playing around, she's getting plenty of clothes too. She's really lively and she's doing everything that she should be doing. But it's just so sad to think that she doesn't, I don't even think that it's probably sinking yet that she hasn't come back. I don't know if it will, but it'd be horrible to see if she's actually not even, you know, known yet, um, but it seems to be working, we gave the cages the whole spray out and washed all the tunnels, washed all the beds, everything, to put 
her back in, but sadly, yesterday we had to pop her down. It was the nicest thing I could have done, and I didn't want to see her in any more pain, and she was really in a lot of pain. She didn't look happy, but she's such a fighter, she wasn't going to give up anytime soon. Which broke my heart even more, she was fighting it every day, and she didn't want to give up. Her sister was with her every minute of the day, she was following her around, laying with her, sleeping with her, and it was heartbreaking really, but I couldn't do anything else. I wish I could have done more, but I don't know what else I could have done. I did that much research, I fed her every day, three times a day with critical care, cuddled her, talked to her, she was getting so much better and I really thought she would get through it, but I suppose that's not going to happen, she um, this past week just seemed to decrease in weight and she was so malnourished, I, it was horrible, um, but yeah, so it was the nicest thing to do, but I've ordered her a little gravestone which is a little guinea pig on top and it says um, you may have left our lives but you would never leave our hearts and I'm going to lay that on top of the stone outside as well with her little plaque I made so she knows it's a bit personalised and she knows that we're always thinking of her which we will do because it just doesn't seem right <laughs> when I come in here it took me ages to come in here yesterday because it just didn't seem right and oh but I'm so glad she went, she fell asleep in my arms because if they took her into the back, I I wouldn't, oh god, I, I'd probably have been worse. Um, but the one thing I didn't really like, the, I asked the vet if there was anything else in her mouth, like an abscess, and he went to, he told us that he was going to flush her mouth out, which I was fine with, so then he could see, but he ended up trimming her teeth back, and seeing the way that she was when we took her down there, I didn't want him to do anything like that and I wouldn't have let him if I knew that he was going to do it because I'd probably have put her through more stress and pain than she needed to be in and which really got to me even more because I let him do that I didn't know but it just, it was not nice um, but she came out, she was so snoozy, I got her out of my lap and she never moved so, she, so she's in a better place now at the Rainbow Bridge and she's cuddling and playing around with all them other guinea pigs and she's buried near my other two hamsters which will keep her company and she's even got some hedgehogs down there which we found yesterday <laughs> which would give her some company at least it's sorry to see that she was in pain but I couldn't do any more than what I did sadly and I wish I could <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, so, I'm sorry about this really not very nice video but it's the one thing that I had to do you'll be wondering where she was if not and you will probably seen my last video of her progress um, but see she was getting on so better then but apparently not um, so I'm so sorry but yeah okay so thank you for watching bye bye